the role also demands it looking sort of tougher uh in the in the film also so any sort of like preparation obviously you must have gone for that you were lifting much more in the gym did you miss out on the cute part kavir oh i'm sorry Right today on uh, candid conversations with me is Tamanna Bhatia, the actor. She's coming up with a number of movie projects. But first, we're going to talk about the fact that she has uh, invested in Sugar Cosmetics, and she's also partnered with them. So, uh, Tamanna, tell us about what you know made you sort of partner with Sugar. You know, for me, makeup um, as a category is always it's not something that can only be commercial. It is. very close to my heart it's extremely personal because it's something i use every single day of my life uh and uh, and my my uh, my bond with makeup is is so unique because it's how i have discovered how to um you know love myself how to enhance what i have how to you know work it through the days that i don't feel as good um so i understand the relevance that makeup has in my life and it has in so many women's lives as well so when um when this this opportunity came by i thought it was something that um uh, meant a lot more to me than just a commercial association because um right. i have endorsed brands in the past but i feel like i want to be a part of um Uh, I want to be more deeply involved in a brand that actually reaches out to many more, um, you know, Indian people, and it is made and catered primarily towards Indian skin types and skin tones, uh, okay. and also keeping our weather co- conditions in mind. So I feel like this brand for me, um, you know, kind of ticks all my boxes when it comes to what I want from a brand, and uh, hence I decided to have a more deeper association with them. and uh, i mean i come from a business background background like my my father and my family we all from the business families but i feel like um, because i was always so creatively inclined i did not explore this side to myself but now i kind of understand and um, i feel excited to kind of explore this as well this was something where a, a brand endorsement was something that that i often do with a lot of different brands uh but with this i felt like uh, i uh, i and vinita had a chat and we i mean i i told her about like what are my vision is in terms of skin and makeup and and just like life in terms of what i think when it comes to makeup and the you know the, the way i want my audiences to know about me not through just the work i do but also through um you know through um my interests which are in which and which are largely in in uh, uh you know in the beauty space so um so yeah makeup for me was something that was always very exciting and it always means a lot to me so uh, and of course i love what vinita has been doing like i love what she's done with the brand and um how beautifully she has she's not only again she what i loved is that the her heart and her mind were together it wasn't about just a business uh space for her but it's something that she actually wants to reach out to a lot of people with her brand and i can see that i can see how you know certain brands reach much more further than many others only because of the kind of quality they are delivering and because they're actually catering to what people need at that point of time um i think like indian um uh people have certain skin types and have a certain requirement and i feel like vinita really gets it Uh, moving on to you know you have uh, a trailer which uh, released about two three days back. I happened to see the trailer. Bubbly bouncer, very interesting concept. It's about uh, uh, this woman who's from this uh, this village of uh, Akharas, and then she becomes a lady bouncer. So and uh, clearly you are. I mean, let's say compared to uh, the kind of movies I've seen you in three four years back, you are obviously because the role also demands it. Looking sort of tougher. uh in the in the film also so any sort of like preparation obviously you must have gone for that you were lifting much more in the gym did you miss out like... on the cute part kavir oh i'm sorry I'm also did i also look awfully cute while i'm being all um you know um 
pehlwan uh, so that's actually the point of this film uh, essentially there's a lot of cliches that goes around people or women essentially mm. who are uh, physically strong we've we've seen a lot of um, we've seen a lot of emotionally strong uh, characters that are made for women to play on screen but whenever a woman is physically supposed to be physically strong it comes along with a lot of baggage a lot of cliches a lot of typicalities that people expect when they are when they are going to watch so like a pehlwan hai to matlab uski muscles aise bahar you know ubhar ubhar ke aane chahiye uh, you know she probably has short hair she is extremely uh, you know she doesn't feel like how women feel or you know there are so many preconceived notions which i i hope that bubbly bouncer really breaks and it does it with like it's it's a fun film it's a film that makes you smile it's a film that makes you feel warm and makes you feel you know hopeful in life and that's what i think that's the kind of cinema i grew up on and what made me an actor so when i heard the script of bubbly i really felt a, it was a really novel concept b it was made by madhur bandarkar so who's always only made the strongest films when it came to you know uh, female actors and all his films right. that were impactful were female led and he is such a feminist himself um but i think what really took me by surprise was the fact that he has such a funny bone and he is such a chilled out and um, humble happy go lucky kind of person like i remember there used to be the shot used to be ready and everybody was and everybody would just be sitting with him and having a chat and joking around with him and like you know it was me and and sir so co director was like chalo chalo shot karte hai you know it used to be like that so he is a you know a four time uh, national award winning director but i think what really uh, what really hum, like amazed me to look at working with him was that he's so child like and you know he still have his has his innocence intact which is why i think he's even made a film like bubbly bouncer because bubbly is a very pure character it's a it's an unabashed girl you know she's not really yeah. you know, not really contained in any capacity so i feel like i feel like the child like nature in madhur sir has like helped bubbly bouncer kind of flower into what she needed to be uh, in in some interview or somewhere i don't know that uh, you would want to be the bouncer for rithik roshan and vicky kaushal i particularly this to why not katrina what if she feels okay, left katrina. out katrina a uh, katrina is uh, is a strong woman i think she can uh, she can handle it herself so i am not worried about katrina but of Rithika course three, she can also handle himself i have felt feelings for uh, long uh, always uh, crushing on rithik roshan and vicky ah. kaushal so uh, so i think i would like to be there about so. okay okay uh, okay nice hopefully their girlfriends and wives are not watching this but that's okay um, so i think now, they'll be excited then, they'll be thrilled yeah <laughs> Now there's another one also coming up, Plan A, Plan B, and a few other projects. So tell us, tell us about that also. Well, Plan A, Plan B was again. Uh, it was a COVID baby. Uh, I think it happened right when the first wave had gotten over, and a difficult film to shoot because you know that time the circumstances were really hard. Like how we were filming with so many different like um, restrictions and regulations. uh it was a very hard film to shoot but it was again a, you know it was i thought the concept was really novel uh, you know a matchmaker and a divorce lawyer when they're put into the same room or when they're put up into the same work space what happens to them so i felt like uh, it's a cute story uh, it's it's going to be showcasing on netflix it's my second uh, ott film that's coming out in hindi <clears throat> and yeah it's been i've i've worked with ritesh before but i think this time it was really fun because i had all my scenes with ritesh and um, and kusha i love kusha kusha i mean i'm a i'm a kusha fan and i keep telling her how i love her uh, whatever she does on social media and uh, and yeah we became friends while working on the film right right <laughs> uh chalo anyways thanks thanks a lot for talking to us and uh, all the best of course for your for bubbly bouncer and plan a plan b and of course your uh, the fact that you're stepping into an entrepreneur shoes along with sugar cosmetics and uh, take care thanks a lot for talking thank you gogeer thank you have a great day